James at Barber Creek, tall target test again. This time we're gonna use our brand new tall target sheet that allows you to do it 25 yards, 50 and 100. And it has an additional sheet that comes with it and this allows you to sit down and visually see what you see down range so you don't have to walk down there. Of course, we're using the jig. And I do wanna talk about something that we have discovered, this new Bosch range finder slash measurer. It's not really a range finder, but it does give you a range in inches. This thing is ridiculously accurate down to a 32nd of an inch. They make three or four models. This is the 400 inch model. They make a, um, I think a 144 inch. Regardless, they got $64, one in the 90s, and this one's like 200 and something. I highly suggest you get this because I'm telling you, the range finders are always one or two yards off of real measurements. And even when we ran that tape where we stretched it out, we believe we were getting a little bit of tape stretch. Let me show you something. I'm gonna go up here and make sure I'm lined up with the turret. I got a target at 50 yards and it's telling me 50.6 yards. Let me grab this one. And it's telling me 49.3 yards. The actual measurement is 50.1372 using a Bosch. So I highly suggest you get one of these. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna measure it first at 50 yards. So I'm already on it. So here we go. I'm gonna dial 30 minutes. And I'm gonna do it two or three times, just like I told you in the other videos, okay? All right, and I can see we're at 15, and I already wrote it down, 15.8125. Our little scale here breaks it down in decimals for you guys, so you don't have to. And I'm gonna go back down to zero. And I'm back at my zero stop. And back up again. And boom, 30 minutes. So it stopped in the same place. So what I've done is I've ranged it with the Bosch. And we're at 50, again, 50.1372 yards. We're gonna drop that in in a second. And the actual point of impact or the actual amount of movement of the turret and reticle is 15.8125 inches. Okay, so once you got all the data, you can open up the Eagle Ballistics app and you can see you go to where it says scope correction factor under the settings. And I'm going to click on it and open it. And we did it at the range was 50.1372 set and then we dialed 30 minutes and it defaults at 30 and it says that our point of impact should be 15.75 the actual that we measured was 15.8125 hit set and it says you have a correction factor as you can see right here calculated is 0.996 hit set you're done you've just set your correction factor that's how easy it is all right Thanks for joining us and we'll do another video on shooting instead of using a jig. Level. Again, school gun, so it shoots all right. A lot of rounds through this gun. Level. Okay. We'll dial it. 25 and 5 equals 30. Got to bring up the rest. Same aim point, still got to look at the level.
By the way, I have nowhere, no idea where it's hitting because I can't see that high up. I'm just shooting a group and we'll look at the group afterwards. Level. Okay. okay, so this is how you shoot a tall target test. You'll put the target out, hang it vertical as possible with a level or a plumb bob. Draw the line, say 33, 34 inches that we got plenty of travel. So uh, in this case, we did it at 100 yards. So I'm gonna go into my gear and go to correction factor or scope correction. And we were 100.33 yards, hit set. Uh, it already defaults at the turret of 30, so we'll leave it at 30 minutes. I'm just going to show you any way, dial 30 minutes. And the actual amount of travel was between shot groups from center to center, 31.556. Hit set, and it says I have a correction factor of 0.99883. So hit set, and I'm done. So that's how you shoot it. So if you don't have a jig, you can shoot it and get your scope correction factor. All right, thanks for joining us.